All right, we're working on a DX949 today. Uh, we're going to do a peek and tune on it and uh, check the frequencies and make sure everything's where it should be. Let's see what it's doing right now from the factory. Or I shouldn't say from the factory, but uh, how I got it anyways. Um, dead key with the power on low is about 3 watts. Audio. Audio. About 27 peak watts it looks like. I'll turn the power all the way up. And there's about a 6 watt carrier. For some reason the camera never likes to focus on that meter too well. Anyways, I'll show you the peak power here. Audio. Audio. The only thing I notice if you look at the waveform on here. Audio. See how it's all flat? Uh, someone's probably been in here already and either cut the limiter or uh, crank the modulation pot all the way open so that power that you're seeing on here probably isn't actually all useful let's look at it on the spectrum analyzer audio yeah that's pretty dirty um, what we'll do here is we'll hook the analyzer up and then put a test tone into it and then you can see what it's really doing Bear with me a second. All right, we got the test tone hooked up. There's a spectral output of it. So this is channel one over here all the way to channel 40. And this is all bleed over and distortion right there because of that. Now if we set it where it should be, turn the mic gain down, it should look like a nice rounded off waveform like that. And then a nice clean signal. And if you notice the power difference here, if I turn it up before, you'll see it's 15 watts. The signal distorted, and now if I turn it down, it's down to just over 10 watts and clean signal. So when you crank it up like that, your extra 5 watts is going on all of them different channels and causing distortion. So I just wanted to show you that. Uh -huh. That's going to affect actually what it's showing on the meter too, and if we do the same thing with the microphone. Let me just get it set here real quick. Audio. Audio. Okay, now if you watch here, I got the mic game turned down to where it actually looks right. Audio. One, two, three, four. Audio. See, it's nice and rounded off. We'll show you what it's doing for power now. Audio. Audio. Maybe seven swinging up to eight average. Audio. All right. So uh, after we do the modifications of this the right way, we should be able to get it doing uh, some more power than it is now and actually have a clean signal. So we'll do that and we'll be back and show you what it's doing. Uh, one thing I forgot to point out real quick is uh, checking the frequency on here, on AM. You see that's off, uh, that top left number, 0 0.593. It's off by almost 600 hertz. Uh, factory specification on most radios is plus or minus 300. Uh, so this is off frequency by a decent amount. We'll get that on frequency. And then uh, we'll check and see how it's sounding on sideband here. Turn the volume up a little bit. Audio. Audio, one, two, one, two, three, four. I don't know how well you can hear that, but it sounds like it's off a little bit. Audio, one, two, three, four. Audio. So it's a little off on upper side. Here's the lower side, man. Audio, one, two, three, four. Audio. So that's way off frequency, too, so. We'll, uh, we'll get that stuff aligned and on frequency and where it should be. All right, we'll be back. Okay, uh, just wanted to show you something now. We got the radio open here. Remember how I was showing the modulation was distorted? Right here is supposed to be a transistor, Q39. It's the modulation limiter. Someone's already taken that out. Uh, 
never recommended to take a limiter out. That's why that waveform is flat topping. And uh, the modulation adjustment in here won't even do anything. So I'm going to have to put that transistor back in as well and then properly set this thing up how it's supposed to be. Okay, we'll be back. All right, we're back with the Galaxy DX949 here. You're going to be pretty impressed how this turned out, man. Now I'll show you what we all did. We put the audio limiter back in over here that was missing before. Uh, back here, whoever shop worked on it previously had tried to do a modification and they uh, took out this resistor that's normally in here and they had just put a diode in. It's supposed to be a diode and a resistor when you do that modification. So we did that one the right way. And uh, when they did that, there was a capacitor that was mounted on the top side. And they must have pressed on it or something. And they ended up breaking the trace. That was right here on the bottom. That's where the cap originally went. Uh, and that's why your modulation meter wasn't working. So we took the cap off the top side and mounted it on the bottom here. Connected it to the proper spots. And now your modulation meter works again. And then the best part. We went ahead and did a dual final upgrade on this. Uh, so instead of a single 1969 final, you now have dual MOSFETs, dual IRF 520s in here, the Galaxy MOSFET. A little heat sink on back there to, to help with the heat dissipation. And uh, also upgraded this power regulator here uh, from the factory that comes with a 7 amp, I believe it is, and uh, it's a 12 amp one in there now. And then this other regulator right here, that was also upgraded. That's your audio amplifier. So the one that's in there now is rated for uh, 7 amps. The factory one is 3. That really makes your audio a lot louder. So let's turn this thing on and show you what it's doing now for power. Alright. So on the meter over here. Get some light on it. Now this is on low doing just under a one watt dead key, or right around a watt. Okay, on the left side there. Audio. Audio. So there's your average power. Audio. Right up to about four. And your peak over here. Audio. About 30. And now we'll crank the RF power up. Five watt dead key. Audio. Audio. About 15 average. And here's going to be your peak power. Audio. Audio. One, two, three, four, five. So uh, that's a pretty good improvement over what it was doing before. And then uh, let's see here. We'll show you on the scope what the audio looks like. Audio. One, two, three, four, five. Audio. One, two, three, four. It's not all flat topped anymore. And you got a nice clean output on the analyzer too. Audio. Audio. So this thing's screaming now. And uh got sideband on frequency for you. I'll show you that here. Put that upper sideband. Audio. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Audio. Audio one two. So there's upper side. Here's lower side man. Audio audio one two three four five. Audio audio. All right. There you go.